Hello everybody, today we will see the genetic variance components of simple lattice uh, design using our software. The first one we will calculate the error variance, second one is genetic variance, third one is phenotypic variance. And also we will see the remaining. So coming to the error variance, which is equal to the mean square error of our model. For example, if your if it is your model is RCVD, so the mean square error will be uh, the error variance, or sometimes it's referred as environmental variance. And the genotypic variance, uh, uh, it's be, it will be calculated from the difference of what the genotype as well as the mean square error. So, genotypic variance is equal to mean square, it is the difference between mean square genotype minus mean square error divided to the number of applications. Then again, the phenotypic variance, it is the submission of the either variance plus the genotypic uh, variance. So it will be calculated in this way. So if the genotypic variance is greater than to the either variance, so it is an important component and it's good uh, for selection. Then coming to the estimation of the genetic coefficient of variation, and the gen uh, genetic coefficient of variation helps to uh, compare the genetic variability within the group or among the group using different uh, characters. So that genotypic coefficient of variation cal uh, calculated from the square root of genotypic variance divided to its mean. Then phenotypic coefficient of variation is calculated the square root of uh, phenotypic variance to its mean. So when we get high genotypic uh, coefficient of variation, so the effect of environment is less. Coming to estimating of the protein irritability, so it will, be, it will be calculated from the ratio of genotypic variance to this phenotypic variance. Then coming to the estimate of the genetic advance, so genetic advance, it is a product of what the selection intensity times the broad sense heritability. So uh, the selection intensity when it is at 5%, it is uh, the value is 2.063 as you can see here. So the genetic advance, it will be calculated or estimated by uh, it is uh, heritability times uh, the selection intensity. Coming to the genetic advance, which is exp expressed as a percent of mean, so it is a ratio of the genetic advance to it is a particular trait mean times 100%. So by this way, we uh, you can estimate the genetic advance and also the variance component. So let's proceed to our analysis using our software for simple lattice design. So let's back to our analysis or our today's tutorial. So in order to do that, I strictly recommend you to run all this uh, syntax or maybe you can use your own uh, data. So type this and submit to our studio. And if you want further or detailed information regarding to this code, I recommend you to uh, trace back my tutorial regarding to the partially balanced lattice design or the uh, simple lattice design. So our today's objective is in calculating of a genotypic variance, phenotypic variance, uh, bird sense, heritability, and etc. So the first step is calculating of genotypic variance. So in order to get uh, the analysis of variance, so type this and send it to our studio. Then we'll get detailed information about about analysis about our analysis of uh, variance or ANOVA table. So genotypic variance is calculated uh, from the uh, two or from the three uh, terms. One is the mean square of the genotype. The second one is the either mean square. So genotypic variance means it is the difference between the uh, genotypic mean square and the residual mean square. Then divided by number of replication. So our treatment or genotype mean square which is equal to 23.3 while our error mean square which is equal to 13.65 and since our design is lattice, uh, simple lattice so our number of replication expected to be 2 so it's divided will be uh, it's divided by 2. So type this and submit to RStudio then you will get the genotypic variance. So our genotypic variance which follows to 4.824. The next step is calculating of the phenotypic 
variance. Phenotypic variance is a submission of genotypic variance plus the uh, mean square error or environmental error or environment uh, environmental error. So we will consider the genotypic variance uh, plus the uh, mean square of our model. So accordingly, our model mean square which is equal to 13.655. While in the case of our uh, genotypic variance, which is equal to 4.824, so we will add together, we will get the p value. So type this and submit to our studio, then we will expect around 18 something here. 18.479 will be our phenotypic variance. So uh, calculating the environmental variance is uh, simple, it's, it is, which is equal to our mean square, uh, our error mean square value. Then let's proceed to the third step. The third step is calculating of the genotypic coefficient of variation as well as the phenotypic coefficient of variation. So this will be calculated. For example, here is the genotypic coefficient of variation is the square root of the genotypic variance, that means the square root of 4.824, then divided by the mean of that trait. For example, in our case, our trait is yield, so we will uh, calculate this mean, then we will provide the mean value then times 100%. So we'll get our genotypic coefficient of variation. In similar fashion, uh, to get the phenotypic coefficient of variation, uh, which is calculated from the square root of the phenotypic variance divided by the mean of the yield times 100%. So type this and submit to our studio, then we will, you will get your genotypic coefficient of variation as well as phenotypic coefficient of variation. That is your value. The genotypic coefficient of variation which is equal to 2, 16.2126, then the phenotypic coefficient which is equal to 2, uh, 31.56. Then go for the heritability. Heritability in the broad sense it is a ratio of genotypic variance to phenotypic variance. So we now that 4 divided by 18.47 so the ratio of genotypic to phenotypic variance will be our heritability and let's see the result yes heritability if it is less than 30 it's considered as low and if it is between 30 and 60 it's considered as a medium and if it is greater than it's considered as high unfortunately our result is even less than 1 which is 0 0.26 so uh, there is a low heritability. Then, proceeding to genetic advance. Genetic advance is a product of selection intensity times the uh, broad sense heritability. So, selection intensity at 5%, which is equal to 2.06, which is the value of selection intensity at the 5% uh, level, which is equal to 2.063. Then genetic advance is a product of the selection intensity times the percent heritability. So our percent heritability, which is equal to 0 0.2610531, then uh, type this and submit to our studio, then you will get the genetic advance, which is uh, 0 0.53. Then again, lastly, we will calculate the genetic advance as expressed by as expressed in the uh, mean percentage. So in order to do that, uh, genetic or uh, gam which is equals to genetic advance divided by the mean of the yield times 100. So by this way, we can get the gam. So let's see the value of genetic advance as percent of mean, which is equals to 3.954. So this is all about today's tutorial and I will come up with other videos and other topics. Until then, stay tuned and have a nice time.